Hello, my name is Chris. I am the lead genius at South Shore BMW, and thank you for watching our iDrive 7 video series. Today, we're going to focus on media, so let's go right to there. So the first thing I notice on the left-hand side is all of my media options are going to be listed for me, so I don't have to go anywhere else in this system to get access to that. Let's tap on Sirius XM. All of my Sirius XM channels are going to be right in front of me. This one is ordered here by channel number. And if I notice over to the right hand side, I have all of my different options. Now, a very popular question we get from customers when they come back after a day or two is what is the difference between add to presets and this one down here, add to favorites? Well, the very first one, add to presets, is for your car. Presets can be AM, FM, satellite. This is BMW specific. We are physically saving that channel or that station in a preset menu for you. Add to favorites is a Sirius XM function. So let's show you how that works. Let's see, we are on hits one. I know that because I can see the little wave moving in there. So what we can do, hits one is selected. I'm going to tap add to presets. I heard that chime that lets me know that it's all set. And another quick indication that I know that it's all set is my only other option now is to delete preset so I know it had to work. So if I pull the sub menu over, I now realize Sirius XM is not the first in this list. Presets is now the first in the list because now I've actually added something. If I go into presets, I should find hits one, and I do, which is fantastic. Before I mentioned a very easy way of deleting it was simply to tap on delete preset. When you're in presets, you can also do the same. It's at the bottom down here. So let's go back in here. And now let's take a look at some other options we have off to the side here. This is a very convenient function. This is called time shift. And what time shift does is, so now we're gonna look at hits one again. Right now we're live. But what I can do is I can back this up, as you can see, and I can listen to content that was played minutes ago, which is very, very helpful. Let's say there's that certain song you wanted to hear or you're listening to talk radio and you missed a segment, you missed what they were saying. This is a way that you can go back and rewind and re-listen to something, which I think is really, really cool. I use this a lot in my car. Add to favorites. This again is a serious XM function. We have the program guide where we go into here, and this is just letting us know what's coming up. You know, this is just like you're sitting at home watching TV and you wanna see what's, what's playing next, what's coming on. So we see the time at the top, we see all of our content, and we see our channel lineup is going to be on the left-hand side. And the last one is sound settings. That is a vehicle setting sound settings will be listed on all media types at the bottom of the menu when we go into there if you do have the harman kardon surround sound system in your bmw you will have something called logic 7 surround okay with that checked off that is going to activate the surround sound function here are my surround options treble, bass, balance, fader, equalizer, all of this content. This is fairly standard as it is right here, but just so you know, the sound settings are usually always at the bottom of your list, your options there. And now we're gonna pull this back over. We're gonna go right to FM. So here we have some album artwork showing us on the left-hand side. We have all of our stations are gonna be positioned right in the middle. And again, we do have a sub menu over to the right hand side. As you remembered from Sirius XM, add to presets is at the top. 
it works the same way. So what I would like to do is, let's say I want to find a station. Let's say I want to do, let's see here, maybe 100.7. I'm going to tap on there. That way I know I'm playing 100.7. We want to make sure that's orange. And we want to hit add the presets. And now when I pull over, I should notice under presets I have two. I have my hits one from satellite and now I have my 100.7 from FM. So let's go right back there. And now let's take a look at manual search. So what this does is if I tap into this, I know I'm at 100.7 because that's what I just saved, but this allows me to move my finger across this list and find this exact station that I'm looking for. Why would this be helpful? This would be helpful because if you notice in this list here, we skip a few. And that is because where this car is currently located, it is pulling all of the radio stations that it can find within range. Now, if there is something that I really want, a station that I really want to set, or really want to listen to, even if it's a little staticky, this is how I can do that. I can go to the manual search, I can dial in exactly where I want to go, and that's how I know that I'm going to be able to get those types of stations. Because unfortunately, this list in the middle isn't going to do much for me if it's not in range. And finally, we have the same sound settings that we found under the Sirius XM. So now we're going to pull this over. We're going to go right to AM radio. Same concept that we've seen. We have the artwork, if there's any. We have our AM stations are going to be listed right in the middle. We have our add to presets, which let's do... Let's do 890. We're gonna tap onto there. Add the preset. Pull this over. Now I have my three. I have my hits one from satellite, my 100.7 from FM, and my 890 from AM. Still have my manual search from before. Still have my sound settings from before. So we're going to pull this back over. We're going to go right to Music Collection. Music Collection refers to a hard drive located within inside your BMW. Now what happened before is customers would have a CD or DVD. They would put it inside of the CD player or DVD player and it would play the content. However, in our new cars there is no more CD player. So if you have a USB stick with that content that you'd like saved on there, plug it in the USB port, and then all of your music will be uploaded into this screen here. You then will have the opportunity to save it to the physical hard drive in your vehicle. That is another option that will pop up on the side here when that is available. But you can see right under Music Collection, the first thing is search. So you can search all of your content. You can look by artists, look by album titles. So it's a very, very easy way of going through all of your content there. We have the shuffle option. Again, your add to favorites. We have similar titles and our familiar sound settings. Pull this over. This is the name of my phone because I physically have the phone plugged in in order to do this video. So any phone that you have hardwired connected to the car, that will be shown there. If my phone was connected to this car via Bluetooth, the name of my phone will actually be shown right where it says Bluetooth audio. Screen mirroring is for Android devices. So if you have that functionality on your phone, you could mirror your phone screen on this iDrive screen. And mobile devices at the very bottom, that is how you pair a phone. I can personalize the menu by looking at everything we went over from presets to AM, FM, satellite, USB, all of this information I can check and uncheck it. 
Let's say for some reason I don't want to see AM. I can go right under AM, uncheck this, and when I go back to my list, I will notice that I'm missing AM because it's not there. So if you know there are certain elements to this menu that you're just never gonna go into, you can clean this menu up by eliminating certain options. And that, my friend, is going to be the media section of iDrive 7. I hope that was helpful. Please continue to watch our video series as we go through iDrive 7, and I will see you next time.